Former NFL linebacker Rob McGovern was working in the Manhattan District Attorney's Office at the time of the attacks. As an Army reservist, McGovern was able to volunteer at Ground Zero on September 12th. I put on my uniform and I just walked up to the nearest fireman and said, what, what can I do? And I think he just pointed to a line, one of the debris lines that had formed and said, get down there and just start moving debris. So that's what I started to do. McGovern stayed on the job for five straight days. It was such a massive loss of human life, of innocent human life. And at the very least, you thought, I can give one family consolation. Went down there for a month. It was very surreal. The worst thing I've ever seen. Like, I think about it now, it's just like, you, when you're going through it, you're like, this can't be. It's not possible. This cannot be. Jimmy, part of him died in that. He was part of him died in that, that trade center. When practice started again, the Giants still felt the lingering effects of 9 11. It wasn't the usual noise in practice, very quiet and solemn. We struggled through the experience. But the team's attitude soon changed. Something hit me at that point. I said, you know what? I'm going to call the Giants. So I called the Giants' main number, and I asked for Ernie Accorsi, and I left him a voicemail. I gave it to Fossil, Pat Hanlon, and I said, it's up to you if you want to play this for the players. And, and, um, uh, they did. The gist of it was, I went out to see you guys play the Denver Broncos. The tragedies that happened took a lot of people's lives. And I would have been one of those. But my family, my kids, have a father because I'm a Giants fan. I were made dry eyes because I was standing in the back. This made me cry. That message from Tony was a, a, a big, serious, wow moment. Do you are playing a game that you think really, in the grand scheme of things, doesn't correlate with anything that's going on. And then when you heard Tony's message, it made you realize that we, in some ways, had some importance to some people. We were playing for our city, representing all of those who had lost and all those who were still giving and trying to rebuild the psyche of New York. You wanted to win to bring them some happiness something to take their mind off for a second of the, of the gra gravity of the situation. When play resumed, Paul Tagliabu made sure every game had a patriotic feel. It was to show that as a nation we were unified and, and resilient and determined and not cowed. The NFL did it in the right way. It helped to create a sense of unity in America, among Americans. I think it kind of recalibrated everybody's sense of what was important. And all of a sudden, listening to the Star Spangled Banner took on a lot more meaning than it had for a lot of people prior to that. Patriot right guard Joe Andrews's thoughts certainly involved his three brothers, Billy, Jimmy, and Mark, who were all New York City firefighters, and his dad, Bill, a retired New York City policeman, all honorary captains for today's game. It was hard having my brothers there. A lot of emotions going through my mind, knowing for what they just went through a week and a half ago. I remember in the tunnel, there was two flags taped on the wall next to me. You know, I just grabbed the flags and ran out knowing that we are strong together. Uh, he surprised us all. I didn't even expect that. It came out, I was like, whoa. I was like, yeah, it was nice. It was very uh, uplifting, I would say, you know? It brought a tear to your eye. That's the best scene. Whenever you see anything about 9-11, you always show that. And he did it for people, but he did it for his brothers. You know, it was, it was fantastic. The NFL's return provided a lift, but amid the flag-waving and pageantry, 
Some were still suffering from the deep cuts of 9-11. We brought Randy back to Kansas City. The day that the NFL started playing again, the Giants were in Kansas City. It was crazy. Randy had actually passed away that, Saturday, that night, and uh, the night before we played. Glad it was in, you know, where he was from, and his family was all there, and got some closure at that point. The overwhelming emotions made it hard to focus, but the Giants and Jets were determined. Both managed to grind out victories for New York. I can still remember the, the, the feeling you felt of relief when that, that game was over, that you didn't let these people back home down. The emotional toll, I get choked up just thinking about it. Went into the Giants locker room after the game. Greg Camilla, who was a fullback for the Giants at the time, was just had his head buried in his hands, weeping. My first win as a head coach, when you give the game ball to the city of New York, boy, that was a wonderful moment. It's only fitting that this ball goes to them. To all those people that have tried to save people's lives, to us it means a lot. Our players were really involved in it emotionally and as well as our coaching staff. That was the right thing to do. And uh, I think the fans and everyone in New York appreciated it, that we were think still thinking about them. We took a group picture in the locker room after the game. Every guy had his hat on, including Wellington Mara, had that hat on just looking good. I've got that picture hanging up front and center in my trophy case. Proud memory. 